Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be breaking down three outfits that I literally wore to the office this week, giving you guys some office wear slash work wear inspiration. But before we get into all of that, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this little guy make an appearance. What this is is literally productivity in a bottle. <laughs> but really, this is from Magic Mind, and as you guys may or may not know, your girl still got her 9 to 5, which on some nights turns into like a 9 to 9. So I've been in a desperate need of some focus, energy, productivity, all of the above. And so I've been recently incorporating these little Magic Mind shots into my morning routine. So right before I leave to work, I just grab one out of my fridge and take it like a shot. <laughs> there are ways to kind of mix it into your coffee, matcha drinks, stimulate productivity, keep you focused, give you energy throughout the day. And I will say after maybe like the first or second one, I wasn't really feeling a difference, but once you hit like the third day, that's kind of where it all comes together and really started working for me. And there is a lot going on inside this small package. So this has matcha, adaptogens, nootropics, and some immunity benefits all packed in here. And like I said, I do like taking it in the morning on its own as a little shot, but you can definitely have this with your coffee, get into your caffeine routine, kind of throw it in there. And I feel like it is for me just a really nice way to start my day, feeling like I'm doing something productive and good for my body. One of the top ingredients in this is lion's mane and cordyceps, which really boosts your clarity, helps you focus. And like I said, working a long, grueling job, as well as having time to film and edit videos, focus is of the utmost importance for me, as well as just having energy throughout the day. Like I said, the first time it was not like a magical drink for me where I took it and just instantly felt more productive. It definitely is something that kind of builds up and takes like a few times, taking days in a row. For a while, taking it every day, keeping it in my routine in the morning, I did actually feel some benefits. So it did help me feel a lot more focused, not having that 3 p.m. drag in the work week. Magic Mind also has a money back guarantee. So if you do not like it, if it is not working for you, 100% refundable. And I do have a link for you guys down below if you wanna go check it out, as well as a discount code. You can use code TaraW20. You can get up to 56% off your subscription for the next 10 days. So if you're interested, I highly recommend it. Definitely go check it out. Check out the link. And yeah, so like the bottle says, do more and stress less. Also, I'll be sure to update you guys on my journey of Magic Mind since it does say that the more you use it, kind of the more benefits that come out of it. So I'll give you guys more updates as they come. All right, and now let's look at some workwear office outfits. All right, so here is my first look, and you'll see it's kind of a trend, is I really like to mix the formal with casual, since my office does have a business casual dress code, so jeans are definitely acceptable, which I know in some offices that is not the case, so you can always switch these out for some blue work pants instead of blue jeans, but I kind of like having that mix of textures and styles with in these looks. So this one is a cropped blazer with a knit sweater and then my jeans. And I did pair this look with some flats, but I did make sure to kind of incorporate more formal-ish looking flats, in my opinion. And I feel like overall, this is giving very formal and casual fusion mixed together perfectly. This jacket I actually got from Express on a crazy good sale. So just a pro tip for shopping at Express, never, 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 ever buy anything full price. They always have really great deals going on, like buy one, get one sales, a lot of great clearance items. So yeah, if you like something, keep it in your cart and just wait. I promise it will go on sale. And then this kind of turtleneck knit rib top is something I've had in my wardrobe for a while now. I feel like there's a lot of very similar items out there. It's a pretty basic style that you can find in a lot of places. Just something of that like cream color, I think works really well with the outfit. And then the jeans on here, I went with a a darker tone just to kind of give a little bit more of a formal vibe to it because I feel like this kind of more dark gray wash definitely gives a more formal appearance than a light wash jean or maybe a different like more flared style so I did kind of want to incorporate that also I feel like the brighter color of the jacket with the contrast of the pants is really fun and different and kind of incorporates a little pop of springtime into your workwear which spring is here it is coming and so is spring fashion so finding 
finding some light bright colors to kind of incorporate into your looks I think is really fun and very of the times of the season and yeah overall I feel like this is a cute look very easy very simple to put together you know you just get the crop blazer a turtleneck some jeans and flats and you are good to go ready to go to the office and yeah so that is my first look I wore to the office this week and now on to the next one. All right, and so for this next look, we are switching it up. We've got some skirt action going on, and this is just a very classic pencil skirt. So I feel like this style can literally be found anywhere at most stores that sell workwear. I got this one, I think, also at Express, which, surprise, most of my clothes does actually come from Express for workwear. Between Express, H&M, and Zara is kind of like my workwear trifecta of stores to shop at. And then the top is also also from Express and then this blazer you might recognize it from my Zara haul so I was having a huge huge sale and I got a lot of really great items from it so yeah if you haven't seen my Zara haul video I will link it for you guys up here go check it out but yeah that is where this blazer is from and I've already gotten so much use out of this blazer it's one of those items that is quickly becoming a staple in my workwear wardrobe as you see right now I'm pairing it with something very formal but it also looks really good with jeans and a more casual outfit and I feel like this look is probably the most formal of all the looks and also kind of a very classic work outfit since it does kind of have the work blouse a pencil skirt and a blazer over it but I do like the mix of colors in it which I think makes it a little bit more fun I did kind of mix the blacks and the blues and the creams which I feel like most of the time people don't think those go together but you know it's workwear. We kind of find ways to make it more fun. I just liked incorporating all those colors together. I feel like they actually do work pretty well since the style of the outfit is very structured and simple. It's easy to kind of have fun with the colors of it. And then I did just pair this with some heels since I feel like skirts and work dresses as well just always look a little bit better if you are wearing heels. I feel like maybe just for my body proportions and types, it makes me look a little bit shorter when I do have more of a flat and a skirt. It might have something to do with the lengths of work dresses and work skirts where they are like a little bit lower So then it kind of makes me look shorter if I don't add a little bit of length with heels But that might just be a totally personal thing for me and my body proportions So definitely not necessary to wear heels with it These heels I think are actually quite comfortable for my work heels Most of the time I do like getting something around three or four inches because I feel like that's kind of my max before my feet start hurting <laughs> too much But to be fair at work most of the time I'm just sitting so it doesn't really matter how uncomfortable my shoes are because I'm not really walking that much at all but yeah so this is my second look what I wore into the office this week and now on to the last one all right so this is my third and final look and this one is again another mix of the formal and casual although I feel like this one does veer a little bit more dressy than the first look but not as formal as the last one so kind of a happy medium there. This one I am wearing a top that I got again from a Zara haul. So that is this top and it is one that is a t-shirt material but has this really fun sleeve detail on it. It can kind of get a little lost though in the outfit when I put a blazer on top of it but for some reason in my office this like past week had been running really really warm so that's why I quickly transitioned. My first outfit was kind of more for colder weather and then I switched to a skirt and then now something with a t-shirt because it was getting warm in there. Although very cold outside. I don't know I feel like the office tries to like compensate for the outside weather and then just makes it difficult to dress for. <laughs> Anyways, so this is kind of a more casual outfit. I feel like if you take the blazer off, this could honestly be like an everyday look. There's not necessarily like work wear specific. But yeah, and I did just pair it with more light jeans. And the jeans I typically like pairing with workwear are ones that have very minimal distressing, very simple, and not too crazy of a cut or style. So not super, super flared or boot cut or baggy. So something just more of like a slim straight, simple, classic look. And then the blazer I got is actually from the Lulu's Outlet, which is another video if you guys haven't seen. I got some cute workwear from there as well, which was kind of a one-off for me. I don't typically shop at Lulu's for workwear, but they did have a lot of really great options, some great items, which was, again, quite surprising to me, but a good surprise. And then the shoes I'm pairing with this are kind of my pop of 
color or more of a pop of brightness to kind of balance in the light wash jeans. So these are some light tan booties from Vivaya. These ones are actually knit booties, which are really cool and kind of give a fun texture to the outfit and also kind of incorporates more of a casual look since the knit is a little bit more casual than a leather boot or more of a snakeskin style. So I did kind of like that pairing of different textures and styles and colors. But yeah, so this is my final look pretty simple outfit where you take a black blazer, put it over a black top, get some light wash jeans and some tan boots and you are good to go, good for the office. And yeah, so that is my third and final look and overall I feel like a really easy outfit and a really easy way to look polished and stylish in the office. Alright, so that was me breaking down three styles that I wore to the office this week and I did literally wear these to work. I feel like too when it also comes to productivity, being focused, doing your best, having a good outfit is always something that helps me. So kind of another productivity hack, if you look good and you feel good, you're gonna work good. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> yeah, so being able to be productive comes alongside, at least for me, having a really killer outfit to go with it. So do not forget our little little buddy here, little magic mind shot. If you guys want to shop it, I do have the link in the description down below along with my discount code TaraW20. Save some money. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below which outfit was your favorite, which one could you see yourself wearing to the office, or if you don't work in an office, which you think you would wear to an office. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I really really appreciate it and as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all in the next one